Okay, it's November the 25th of 2024, and um, it was asked uh, the other day, the gentleman asked about how do 807s and push-pull perform? Well, I have this Heath kit uh, amplifier from the early 60s, if not the late 50s. Runs 807s. Got a pretty pair right there. And 6 SN7s. And um, when I got it, <clears throat> I got it at a state sale, but I didn't get the power supply for it because it had already sold. So I built it a power supply. And in this power supply, for exotic reasons I used a mercury vapor rectifier on 83 I think you can read that there oh don't drop it made by RCA Cunningham licensed made in USA as stated Radiotron on, as stated on carton Radiotron anyway we're gonna plug them in and show some respect for these 807s Okay, she should be all warmed up. One thing that needs replacing is this uh, right here. This poor thing right here is, I think I need to make like a little piece of uh, aluminum right there. Because see, this hole's too big for one of those Switchcraft. <laughs> I finally remember the name of it. You could use a new plug there. Maybe, you know, like I say, a little piece of metal. Mount the Switchcraft uh, RCA plug in it. Because this thing is not too, not too whoopy, but it works for right now. Okay, all warmed up. <clears throat> like I say, this power supply, let me see. Let me show you here. I know you like these. There it is. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's really pretty, huh? MV rectifiers. I said the other day, I don't have anything running off of mercury vapor rectifiers anymore. Well, anyway, now I can't find the plug. Sorry. I have to fumble sometimes. But uh, I'm doing the best I can. Okay, now we got lights again. Well, here it is. I'll make it quick. Here it is running at uh, 20 watts. Well, we'll start at 2 kilohertz. And there's a sine wave, pretty. 0.63. Let's go to uh, 200 hertz. Down here at 200 hertz. I'm not going to do sweeps and all that kind of stuff with it. There's 200 hertz. There's 200, and there's its THD, 0.6 again. 20 hertz. Takes it a second, all of the equipment takes a second to kind of get its act together. There it is, 20 hertz. Drop to 18 and a half watts. <clears throat> Drop a little bit. There's 20, and there's its THD, still less than 1%. I haven't done the uh, the DB ratings on it. I don't think that's necessary. Now we go to 20 kilohertz. Let's <clears throat> press that magic setup button. There it is. Still doing 20 watts at uh, guess, uh, or 20 kilohertz at 0.7 percent. So. Uh, it's doing just dandy, isn't it? Let me see here. Let's put this thing back. Okay, we'll, we'll look at this. Let's put this back at uh, 2 kilohertz. Well, there it is. We got rid of that this push-pull amplifier. Boy, there's a big glare there, isn't it? This push-pull amplifier definitely got rid of that um, second harmonic and uh, gave us a great third one. I'm sure that changes its sound. That's what it looks like. A lot of reflection in here tonight, huh? Well, there it is. I made a video of this a few years back. Uh, one of the things I do is I, I use fingernail polish, and I, when I've really graded my tubes and they're really the best, I put like a little dot of fingernail polish on them there, and do the same thing over there, same thing even on these tubes down there just so I can keep up with uh, you know the best of them well that's it ladies and gentlemen oh yeah here's the schematic I want to show you this is an inspiration this is the inspiration for the uh, for the single-ended one as you can see 
there's that circuit right there you know that the bias on the tube it's been wondered you know well there's like heavy DC on the grid well that's true but it doesn't matter uh, the bias voltage is the voltage between the grid and the cathode see the cathode's pretty high up it's a 22k which is what I used except I bypassed it we don't need this second output right here because they're driving push-pull so you just so you know what I built what I copied basically was this right here See, there's a negative feedback resistor um now that's about it take inspiration from uh, from working circuits here's another inspiration I took that I've used a number of times connecting the screen directly to the plate through that 100 ohm resistor that's exactly the way uh, the little SC amplifier is built but uh, basically the, uh, the SC amplifier is running that right there with different values I found different values work when you're running it it's just a uh, a two-stage amplifier and, and you're not using it as a phase splitter over here that's why I uh, adjusted these values here and and here and those are actually the, the same except that, again that one's bypass the venerable 807 I was just thinking you know I bet they used a lot of those during World War II I bet they was for tiny pieces of them scattered all over Europe even today they're in they're in the dust now but they uh, I sure did a good job hope you enjoyed